Today's topic be on corrosive. So, corrosives, as you know, the learning objectives of corrosives would be at the end of the lecture, we should be able to definition of corrosives, the classification of corrosive, sulfuric, nitric, and symptom complications, and post appearance. Okay. So, moving on. Uh, what do you mean by corrosives? Corrosives can be defined. They are those substances which corrode. And the literal meaning of corrode is to eat or uh, you can say it destroy and it causes uh, destruction or dissolution of the tissues that come in contact with direct chemical action. There is mainly equal one acting on the use of the elementary track to some extent the respiratory. As a general, I have to know that there is no good systemic action with the exception of shock. So, can they be classified? This is in some of action. First, move on to the classification. They can be classified as acids and alkalis. And further, classified as inorganic and organic. Inorganic, also known as the mineral acids, they are mainly used as reagents. And all of these are the puric acid, nitric acid, and hydrochloric. The organic acids are basically carbon compounds and have a wet absorption after, uh, after uh, 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 the circulation, display the stomach and the reaction. Although they are weaker in action compared to the mineral acids, they have a better effect. And examples of these are malic acid, malic acid, and malic acid. Then the strong alkalis, they are the ammonium hydroxide, potash, and stuff. And those which are, which will not, they are the ammonium carbonates and sodium carbonates and, um, and so forth. So moving back, again, if we move back, now the mechanism of action. The first to understand only acid uh, alkalis, the alkalis, the corrosive, while the acids and alkalis, they just irritant. Strong acids mainly, uh, you, know, you can say that uh, three by means of which act, that extraction water tissues causes of a lot of dehydration, and secondly, means of necrosis, which is uh, uh, coagulation necrosis of the, is of the cellular proteins. It is characterized by the formation of coagulum. Coagulum is uh, known as a SCAR, SCAR like E S C H A R. SCAR is a dead, uh, somewhat black color and results as a result of effect. So this is it. Third is a of hemoglobin to hemat and hemat is hematin. Hemat is just a dark bluish orange pigment containing uh, containing the ferric uh, obtained by the oxidation of hemoglobin. So this is the mechanism of action. Going on. Moving on, the mineral acids, as you know, like uh, these are the hydrogen containing substances which on creation in water produce hydronium ions and they are desiccant acid and cause great process and escalation coming in contact with the mucosa. The main example of uh, thing, the first thing within detail is the hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is also or vitriol. Oleum or the tree acid. The full properties are it is heavy, oily, it is less liquid, and it is not when exposed to air. And it is hydroscopic in nature. Hydroscopic has a great affinity for water 
and when mixed with water, it gives out heat. And copper sulfuric acid contains a lot of impurities and it is in color. The various uses of sulfuric acid are in industry as storage batteries and pipe and drainers and as fertilizer, uh, fertilizer manufacturing. And mechanism of action, we said you have to remember, it has a high ability of water, so it will draw water from the tissue, destroy rapid hydration, bring out a lot of heat, it will cause a lot of necrosis and burning in black of the skin and burning of the skin. Charring is also the same, it is burned with the formation of residues, which are carbon residues, and this is the reason that the blood is due to carbon residues, and that is charring. Then the on symptoms. The mm -hmm. sign and symptoms are the, immediately the most common treating symptom after swallowing is burning pain sensation in the throat and uh, uh, figures feeding right up to the stomach and the abdomen. This is followed by intense thirst, and the more the person the more thirsty he is, and the more be the vomiting, the retching, and vomiting would of a blood vomitus of mucous membrane and there's a lot of corrosion ranging from out the angle of the, the swollen and, and you remember that sulfuric acid the coloration is black all the mucus is stained black it's also and one more important thing in sulfuric acid is that in the tea it is chalk white color with loss of polish and there's a lot of brittleness in the vomiting you said is black or brown and here it diarrhea you have to remember that basically the ingestion corrosive the bowel to be constipated and the urine scanty while in elk there is tennis frequency of with blood and mucus so and the intensity of poisoning depends on the type of poison the concentration amount and the duration for which it is in contact on the mucus. Rarely, sometimes cases of poison find their way into the trachea. And there's the military symptom of dyspnea with difficulty eating. And there's a lot of edema, the glottis and the larynx. So, uh, especially happens not in sulfuric acid, the acid that we deal with, that is the acid and the uh, hydro acid, because it's forming liquid. That's why there is more respiratory symptoms in those two. And strong fumes, because of that, there is inflammation in with voice, which is coarse and rough, all those symptoms. The remote actions, like we said, would be collapsed from shock, sets in, cold clammy skin, there is precious face, eyes, feebles, pitted pupil, and some respiration, but mind means clear again. That is what? Consciousness changed and now if the quantity of poison followed small, the death may be made until the medication like hypostatic pneumonia gets in. Hypostatic pneumonia is due to the action of a lot of fluid in the basal region of the lungs, especially in case of bedridden or elderly patients who are confined to this position for extended periods of time. So one more important thing here that we have to remember is as they are uh, like the sophagus, which is um, the helium, you can say, common epithelium the sophagus is more resistant to acid than the collar epithelium of the stomach. So later on, we see the combinations like esophageal strictures. strictures would be more common in early boys and pylog and strictures will be common in acid poisoning. This is a slight difference between it and the belly. Then complications of the, like we said, they, um, there's a lot of perforation of the IT tract is so with the sulfuric acid. And on, uh, like the formation of here in esophagus, the sulfuric acid more so it targets a strong alkyl is uh, strong, sorry, target mainly on the torus and the district and 
all those figures may be but mean pylorus and cystic antrum is second infections that failure also follow so how can you diagnose this you can really perform litmus test litmus litmus this can be considered as a site test where ph of saliva can be tested with a litmus paper you just uh, the litmus paper there this the saliva it will give up uh, it will take it blue color is into so you can say is an acid fresh stain clothing may be tested by adding a box of soda vinegar as production of bubbles over since they also indicate of an stain similarly if you get a vomit vomit in your stomach if they are then in this act and barium chloride a heavy precipitate comes with soluble in one ml of nitric acid there are few things from which you diagnose the sulfuric is an acid or an ml dose of 10 to 15 ml treatment treatment you understand that certain things will have to be avoided while doing the treatment for example the gastric as is indicated as to prevent the gastric perforation and the acids in which you can do you form the level in organic they are very very in the mucose very weakened so you don't perform gastric lavage some people say that of the opinion that there is a soft tube team of leaf tube which passed with within ingestion of poison you are careful that within an person comes to you with an history of ingestion so this is the reason the acid does not get a to cause serious caustic burns of the stomach and before acid can get comes to cause ulceration perforation of structures if before complication within you use a very soft wine tube you use so it is contrary ms is not attempt fear similar reason for fear of ruptured stomach similarly alkyl carbonate sodium carbonate is contraindicated and it produces a lot of gas and mainly carbon dioxide is produced which will lead to abdominal distension and perforation similarly also uh, strong alkalies they are also contraindicated because they also produce a thermic reaction and in this the key, the stomach of the uh, the mucous membrane of the stomach will get perforated so all the contrary what gastric ms strong alkaline nates or please they are contraindic then can you give you can give emulsions emulsion just the so it forms a soaking and a mucoprotective layer the means of you can immediately neutralize the acid and uh, also give a glass of milk water to drink and you can give four tablespoons ammonium hydroxide gel you can give emulsions like tin egg or only water or starch water but the best thing is just dim plain dim then you can injection more to relieve pain you can ice to relieve the thirst you can give ice to control weight loss but you have nothing by because the nutrients all nutrients are given and uh, in the start uh, the, for a week iv and you start liquids then the diet and then regular diet okay start okay. then comes maintenance airway leave said if there's a lot in gel edema edema of the glot you even do sometimes custom and skins because there are of corrosion corrosion there they are simply with soap and water put by an addition of a so carbonate or sodium oxide like that way if the is involved that also is it by a lot of a large amount of or normal say keep i lid tracted please to 20 minutes and you keep eating the uh, with lot of water and no time 
a solution can use instead of plain water cell but the thing is you have guys you have to refer an ophthalmologist which is thing advised okay then you have to the chest and the abdominal x-ray to rule the case of perforation and perforation like we said in the perforation is it is maximum the the u sulfuric acid Stagoscope perform flexible optic can be done in 24 hours to assess extent and the stability of the burns. In the uh, first, the cause of death in these could be immediate or delay. The immediate cause is suffocation, asphyxia due to the edema glottis, and short times resulting due to the circulatory collapse or if there is per of the stomach chemical peritis shock death results the death is uh, then stricturation occur like we said in lorus or these figures or uh, recovery uh, the cover somehow and that will further the formation lead to malnutrition because the person cannot eat this patient dehydration um, and delayed uh, complication results stricture formation Occurs in four weeks if the patient survives. The postmortem findings: actually, you see of corrosion, this partial obstruction uh, that comes, uh, this membrane that comes in contact, that comes in contact, the poison, lips, mouth, chin, anger, mouth, everything, every uh, rose, a weather splash, there. it will be colored brownish parchment. Eroded spot will be there. This is a uh, important that in sulfuric acid you will see a lot of brownish to blackish condition of corrosion. The ferrous esophage, if it is a, there will be in changes of uh, the stomach. Now, converted into a soft, foggy black mass in sulfuric acid, just the consistent of wet blood paper. And it is blackish in color. It will be blackish, it will be. Hard, it will help give a pep feeling to the hands that stomach sulfuric acid and perforation, like we said, is most commonly sulfuric acid poisoning. So, you will see a lot of that. This is what the case of sulfuric acid that the stomach lining is charred, it blackened, and it very in appearance, peppery feeling in the stomach. So the medical importance of uh, sulfuric acid poisoning is accident thing can be there, mainly because it's confused with seen or castor, it can be suicidal. That is a, because it is very painful and homosexual is also extremely rare because it's very difficult for a person to uh, directly give the acid to a Vitriolage, now what is vitriolage? This is known as very important, legal importance. Sulfuric. This is pure thrown. Uh, although N acid used, but mainly because sulfuric acid was used, and it is by the name of of vitriol, where the name vitriol is. This very sleep practice, flashing, throwing on, particularly the face is targeted because of a malicious end. And, uh, this is just with the end of causing intent damage. Distribution of the feet and also causing this. Uh, so, this crime is and this dealing with this is the out of jealousy or the person has rejected uh, uh, so on and so And we're throwing criminal offense punishable uh, the of itlaf laiyate. have done the chapter of hurt. If not, you and you will see that under SAS and the, the one throwing it in the face comes are, is punishable under the penalty of its life. And acid throwing is also used as a criminal offense of disposal of a dead body. And sulfuric acid is a very important case of acid throwing, which is an acid bar murder case. And the person, John George, who killed a lady. And uh, of her body in a 
and containing sulfuric acid. So, and that when the remains were found, uh, they were two fragment bones, they were ball stone, they were just um, uh, this place, this thing, then found. And because of that, led to the time scene and then confirmed. So this is a very important thing that someone uses for criminal uh, of a dead. This is a picture of ritual. You can see how ghastly, horrendous the person buying acid. They somehow destroy the life, psychological environment that the person goes through. He goes through and destroys being the fear. Okay. Then comes nitric acid. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next is nitric acid, also known as by the name Nitmafor. And the physical properties of nitric acid is burning, like feeling heavy, clearless liquid. And the uh, nitric acid gives out a lot of fumes, yellow in color, and it is exposed to the acid is exposed to air. So here the has to be updated that acid you will that it will give yellow color into everything that it comes in contact with it comes in contact with skin, the membrane, even the clothes, they are stained by yellow, yellowish orange to that. And powerful oxygen agent, it dissolves all metal except gold and them. It's uses so in the preparation of explosives or fertilizer or separate gold from Oakley, nickel, or etc. So you will see the sign and symptom of nitric acid. You appreciate the signs closely. Uh, everything concerned with nitric acid, uh, chloric acid will do. They have all the same uh, in aspects as we have all discussed sulfur, but the slight which are as which will deal like for example sulfuric acid that gives a brown corroded skin here when you find and simple will be yellow skin on the clothes tissues including the crust and the uh, lips tongues the mucous membrane and uh, everything will turn whiter and later yellow this is made by the of reaction known as a photoprotein reaction. And what is an reaction? That is when the concentrated nitric acid, it comes in with an organic matter. It produces a uh, picric acid and picric is responsible for giving yellow short tinge uh, to the skin, mucous membrane, or teeth, whatever. So this is known as a xenthopic reaction. Okay. Now, Perforation is uh, it is less common than the sulfuric acid. Here, the thing is more important as compared to sulfuric acid, be a poor irritation and a distension, a lot of gas formation here. Then, moving, we will see if because said that fuming so a lot will be absorbed respiratory and when it is inhaled, a lot of it of the eye is relaxation, photophobia, they cough, business, dyspnea, and which will be more like be seen in nitric acid poisoning compared to the uh, sulfuric acid. Open appearance of you can see the red areas of the mucous membrane are yellow and perforation is less. Medical legal is the same sulfuric acid mistaking for glycerol or oil. However, it is rare. Again, it is a very fuming and very difficult to ingest it or uh, give it even like you can say for a little purpose. This you appreciate a bit. I hope you can see better the, the color. Uh, it is a yellowish orange to the skin where in contact where the nitrate has come in and the brown thing you can see is times can just peel off and you are left with a brown 
pigment area we can see side but the main thing is the yellow range description of this this is the interrogants here also you can see the yellowish uh, coloration given to uh, uh, all the organs body skin you can appreciate here wherever the nitric acid has been uh, splashed uh, the skin then moving we have to deal with hydrochloric acid this is also inorganic or natural acid it comes in of mucic acid spirit of salt spirit of salt phreatic acid it is also the physicality is also it is also heavy colorless with high irritating odor and uh, it is mainly although it is corrosive than uric acid uric acid but and it uses a, a cleaning uh, oil cleaner laboratory free metal cleaners but one more important function is that it is all used for in the right you have to erase writing uh, for grease or for any other uh, in the process you use hydrochloric acid to erase writing sign symptoms also the same for sulfuric acid the corroded areas mainly greenish or brown color and pretty simple because this is very few powerful thing fumigated so pretty symptoms also more pronounced and when the respiratory symptoms there is a lot of uh, with corona chronic it's especially there's a lot of the white pharyngitis pharyngitis bronchitis and all these the more problems with hydrochloric acid so there is uh, they can bronco pneumonia and you have developed pulmonary edema this thing so the fit is 15 tml treatment is almost the same as with sulfuric acid bottom appearance is also the same except for the that the color is different the corroded areas are likely to be gray color we said the pneumonia and the edema much more because it fuming liquid we said there is a lot of respiratory symptoms even the medical importance is the same as for acid which to appreciate here skin you can see the grayish brownish coloration of skin if it has on the skin and you see it does not cause a lot of corrosion skin the coloration is then the epidermis falls off two days and leaving a brown patchization of skin so you can appreciate the brown patchization of the the corrosion and this is a picture of the internal of the stomach where the hydrochloric acid it forms a blackish or brown dark brown blackish coloration of which is present because of the condition of uh, hemoglobin acid hematin and there is a fluidy fluid a uh, black color in the found in mortem or the while in the hydrochloric acid uh, sorry hydrochloric acid there was the sense of a chart burning happening in people to the and the lining of stomach difference then moving to the organic acids the organic is mainly have to deal uh, metabolic and also come the name of although there is no acid reaction this is acid as it form salts it acted upon a strong base so therefore comes under the name of physical property are the pure phenol colorless prismatic shape crystal while on exposure to it it uh, turns pink and it liquefies commercial phenol is a brownish liquid several impurity because of that it is brownish in color also one property phenol is fat soluble hence it immediately acts the nervous and it causes a lot of pollution uh, it has a heat burning 
effect it can be identified by mainly its which is referred to a typical phallic odor in a hospital well when you enter the hospital just have served the typical smell when you come out of the hospital you say oh the typical smell that is the smell of so it is these are also disinfect the sulfur which is used in pocha ping the floor that is only percent phenol water that is a very good form it is also you with a way for this the sera and for, sorry for things and sera used as a preservative for medical purpose used as prytic and used in very industries of manufacturing or in lab so the derivatives the derivatives are very important derivatives of phenol the names of phenol or crude or gold uh, tar or thyme etc and it is like as said if you done toxicology you have seen that it is a component of a useful uh, antidote one part of tannic acid is used in universal antidote or it is now obsolete and it is not used the only uh, derivative for uh, common uh, you can see the like phenol in the form of phenol, which is most common in, in every carries it detol is a chlorinate phenol with third and lysol is um, somewhat 30 percent chrysol saponified vegetable so uh, from the derivatives of uh, phenol you can derive the detol lysol which is very commonly used in household so phenol is rapidly absorbed from the and the mucus membrane no although it acts like a corrosive like we said it that soluble is very damaging the nerve ending if it causes initially numbness there is a tingling sensation mm. in the needle sensation later on because of the damage on the nerve ending there is an anesthetic effect so the pain appears also present it's a protein related and and causes process of the two with slough and scar form the realize um, signs terms are if it it actually see the present of so because that it will headache it will cause what it will cause it is and vomiting said as it is an anesthetic effect usually the vomiting is not usually seen vomiting not usually seen and uh, abdominal pain is there is a convulsion the signs of with uh, tremors sweating and all that and one important thing is that if it has a remote pain and obviously the shock ensues the person the skin cold clammy this weak the pulse the pulse here are restricted in point temperature is normal and breathing is notorious notorious meaning that it is low pain snoring type of uh, is there and it is labored because the uh, signs are like to be mistaken for opium poison so you make a different diagnosis because because in opium so you get contracted pupil cold uh, skin breathing similar to that so you have to make a differential diagnosis here so the sign symptom the uh, carbolic acid the poison carbolic acid and the sign and symptoms appearing known by term carbon so Carbolism, carbolism is just the sign symptoms of because of poisoning by carbolic acid. This is you pretty much ask in or be questions that what is carbolism and everything. So you have to know that this is the sign and symptoms appearing because of poisoning by carbolic acid. So whenever there 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 is and this see that the location because it is a plasmic so. Enters into a loose combination of proteins, so it has remarkable penetrating properties. It penetrates deep the tissue, and when it the skin mucosa, there is a lot of process, lining, even gangrene, 
and uh, 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 skin it does gray white form and pin white or escar like i said falls off in a few days and leaves a brownish stain so this is action of uh, this thing if uh, like we said what actions may shock which dealt with other it is also a nephrotoxic act because if causes action of the kidney then there is a lot of oligonuria there is urine content albumin blood and in some cases like we said it affects kidney metabolic products of carbonic acid hydroquinone pyrocatechic hydroquinone and pyrocatechol both created in the brain and the two by products the metabolizing product they on stand when they are exposed to air oxidize give brain a smoky in coloration and this very characteristic finding carbonic acid for this dark smoky green coloration of the which is termed carbol what is carbol it is just dark smoky in color the urine which is called metabolic of carbolic acid poisoning these two metabolic products are what is a hydroquinone and catechic so is that and serves as a warning sign of the toxic action of carbolic acid it was initially in the it was great used as an antiseptic dressing also uh, chronically chronic poisoning it occurs which comes by the name of phenol carbol for carbolic poisoning so this causes o prone so this is also a distinguishing feature of carbolic acid poisoning what is o prone o prone is just the black separation of nia between the outer and the canthus of the then dark pigmenting of very cartilages and ligaments especially the ear cartilage and this poisoning is uh, is this pigment to the cartilage and this addition uh, to the uh, which is known by the name of opsis see is usually associated with a thing called alkanuria alkanuria is a auto recessive metabolic disorder which is called a deficiency of folic acid so you don't have to do that much but you have to know that it causes carbolic it causes prognosis these two are very specific carbolic poison also it got a lot of damage with normal liver functions lot of respiratory alkalosis and folic acid this is because of the in severe it forms a met globin and if globin is this is a type of hemoglobin hemoglobin is converted to hemoglobin so uh, is a very severe condition resulting from chronic poisoning so also a lot of chronic poisoning anorexia loss and production of a headache and all that so and said this occur occupational disorders of physicians and this is who are dealing uh, of uh, carboxid spray so commonly used as an antiseptic and operatives and all that so moving on we have done and uh, the uh, fatal doses 15 gram ml here the treatment is very and it depends on the of administration in case of poisoning skin uh, there will be a lot of absorption you have to remove contaminate and wash with soap and water give the person fresh atmosphere they can be but in case of poison through the oat have to puff gastric layer previously we have said that in salicin mainly perform gastric lavage but this one of those exceptional cases of organic poisoning you can perform gastric why because although in all corrode some of wall it also hardens it unlike the other process so gastric can be done plenty lukewarm water containing charcoal or oil or maybe some sodium phate 
and you stress and glycerin and after perfusted lavage you leave 30 grams of calcium sulfate liquid paraffin left in so that the opportunity act and remove rim poison the mulchens like it is forms a protective layer can be given example egg white and so uh, bicarb if hemoglobin occurs then you have to give alkaline blue to give in severe case of met uh, hemoglobin in case or renal failure you perform dialysis lesions again wash with large amount of saline or water but support is not given post water clearance finally if you see there will be a phenolic caustic phenolic powder from the mouth and the skin all that and there will be a gray or a brownish corrosion is seen in the middle of the mouth in the front body arms and where she is ever Initially, if you see the stomach, just opening the stomach, it will emit a phenolic odor. The stomach wall, if we said, is hardened, which gives a bottle appearance like thing. It is typically known as the leathery stomach in of uh, carbolic acid. And you see perfusion here, uncommon. And medical important incidental incidence of accidental poisoning renal has come down drastically because now placed in the hospital by safer alternatives and today accidental poisoning is very common by mistaken ingested or its therapy used by quack because it is used by sex to perform criminal abortion while the renal is inserted into the spine cavity perform a criminal abortion in the And uh, the even this because of its uh, great effect. So it is used in abortion by ex external poisoning human. So still, once with phenol have become rare today. Phenol so, is also extremely rare. Distinctive odor, disagreeable, make it difficult to administer. Doubt around the patient's suggestion. And but thing with phenol derivatives was a similar. Less serious infestation, uh, like we said, is a derivative and present in almost every house. So this is consumed quickly by the alcoholic addicts who are dependent liquor. Why? Because it contains thirteen alcohol. So those who cannot reach the alcoholics who can because it is expensive alcohol, so they get all for that case. And a case has been reported who consume all in moderate. It is daily as a means to purify her because she had that she had sent by uh, this testing that all would purify health, that would purify the organs and all. That is notion of she developed anorexia. It is an emotion, but after so so this all about folic acid. One more important thing is that when to send us observation. Uh, in case suspected carbolic acid poisoning, you have to do that in saturated solution of saline. You have to do that because otherwise it will um, be uh, will be destroyed, will be damaged. So you have to send it a saturated solution. Uh, this is it for today, and this is it for today. obviously. Uh, next lecture dealing with the of the starting salic acid with the alkali will be dealing in the coming lecture. So this is it. Uh, any question asked, you can go before end the lecture. I think is we will uh, push down. So you can see if anything is. You do so. You through this. If there are questions, you can ask me to tell or anything. I hope everything is clear.
Hakim, done with the lecture. Thank you. 